Hey guys, glad you're still with us. This is lesson three, and this one is about your story and coming out. <laughs> it sounds a little funny, but uh, you are no longer an undercover coach, meaning we want people to know that you're a coach and that you're able to help them and you're able to even help them build a business if they so choose. And so in order to do that, you need to come out of the closet and we need to make sure that we do it in a way that is authentic, that really shows um, your true reasons for doing this and connects with everyone else. And so your before we get into your story we want to talk about your coming out post your coming out post you want to make sure that you have a um, compelling picture it could just be a picture of you looking like marvelous it could be maybe your original oops, sorry uh, it could be really your original um, before and after picture that's usually one that a lot of coaches use. Um, don't worry guys, if you're not there yet, if you're like him, I just signed up to do this and like I haven't even started a program. That's okay, that's where you're going to start. And your picture is going to be your before picture and you're gonna say, hey guys, I've gotten to the point that, you know, I'm not happy with where I am and, and I thought there was no better reason to join as a coach is to, have some accountability because when you sign as a coach, that means that you know, you're gonna have everybody looking at you and you can ask people to join you. And so you don't have to have that after picture. Um, please make sure that you write it out and send it to your coach first. Honestly, I have not really changed anything that my coaches have given to me, but sometimes I will change sort of the ending as to how they invite people at the end because some of my coaches don't know exactly how to word that. Um, and so me having more experience is just, it's easy for me to do. But most of the time, your coming out post needs to be from your heart. You need to explain to people like why you decided to step up and coach and be prepared because usually these um, postings actually have people say, sign me up, bring me on board, show me what to do. Um, and so when we talk about your story, that's something else because your story is going to be something that keeps going. It's kind of like the thread that's always going to be in the tapestry of your life. And so when I tell my story, my story has always been that I am over 40 mom who was deeply unhappy, who realized that she kind of was sick of it and sick of the excuses and decided to commit to a shake um, and, and decided to create some financial independence for herself. And so every day my story is weaved into it so that people start to pick up on it. Do you know that people need to hear your story 14 times before they are compelled to do anything? That's why Victoria's Secret knows it literally needs to send you eight catalogs a year in order for you to buy one item. And so I know that sometimes a lot of us are humble and we're like, well, I told my story. And it's like, no, you told your story once on a Tuesday at four o'clock and 7% of your Facebook friends saw it. And so you need to realize that there is a part that you need to keep continuing so that people can connect to it and people can realize it. You know, I often talk about Amy Silverman. Amy Silverman talks about the fact that she is a recovered uh, drug alcohol, uh, an alcoholic. Um, and so that's always kind of weaved into her story. And so don't be afraid to think that you are telling your story too much. I have often found that coaches actually don't tell their story enough. And right out your story like what is it because if you don't know it it's going to be really hard for you to explain it and so a lot of times people say I don't have a story I'm not special I just was tired of being heavy and it's like I have found that my coaches have the most tremendous incredible amazing stories and they just don't realize it and they need to dig deeper and so that might be something that you might want to journal about in writing your story out and then share with your coach so that your coach can kind of point out like wow this is something that's going to connect with your people.